Starting this list of best Android applications, Binary Sweeper is a lightweight and efficient application designed to help users clean up their storage by finding and removing duplicate files. It supports a wide range of file types, images, videos, documents, audio and more. So with a quick scan, it identifies redundant files and lets you delete them instantly, freeing up valuable space without any unnecessary steps. And the app features a super minimal interface with no ads, no sign-up process, and no cloud syncing. You know, everything runs locally on your device, which means your data stays private. It is built purely for function, no extra tools. It is just fast and smooth. You just tap on scan, whether audio, document, photos or video, or even full scan. And it runs the scan and shows you all the duplicate files and even the original tool and the file location. And then you hit delete to create some space. The next app is called Inware. Now this is a detailed spec viewer that gives you a complete breakdown of what's actually inside your Android device. Not quite a new application, but offers one of the cleanest interfaces you'll find in a utility application, thanks to Google's latest material design. Everything is organized, modern looking and easy to read, with no ads or pop-ups getting in the way. All the data is pulled directly from your device, so what you see is accurate and relevant. The app covers everything from your Android version and treble support to display specs like resolution, screen size and refresh rates. It dives deep into hardware to, you know, CPU, RAM, GPU, and also includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth information. Full camera specs including OIS and EIS support and comprehensive battery data like temperature, voltage, and capacity. And on top of that, you get DRM details showing exactly what streaming service your device supports. And so for power users, you can have this application to help you learn more about your device. For those who love Android customization, Ineffable Hub is a complete Android personalization suite that brings everything together from live wallpapers to full home screen setups in one smooth, well-designed application. The app is built with Flutter. The interface feels fast and polished with a material you design that adapts fluidly to your system theme. The live wallpaper options go beyond presets. You can use your own videos or GIFs on both the lock screen and home screen. You get static wallpapers in different categories ready to be applied. And for users who want more than just surface level customization, it includes full KWT based home setups, widgets, icons, layouts, all ready to apply. There's a one-tap font engine that supports Android 10 through 16, letting you generate flashable font modules for Magisk, KSU or KSU Next without any manual work. I didn't really go into that, but you can check that out. There is also Iconify, which adds another layer of control with pre-configured quick settings headers, icon theming, and UI layout tweaks. You also get access to a curated collection of clean, aesthetic icon packs, everything is easy to apply and bundled into a unified experience that feels native, you know, not patched together. And for the widgets, make sure you have KWGT installed to be able to load them. And of course, the icon packs too, make sure you have them installed. The app is free and open source. Next is an application called Pixabay for Android, which is a clean and efficient application that gives you direct access to a massive library of high quality stock images. And it does this through the official Pixabay API. The app is lightweight and responsive from the start with no intrusive ads or unnecessary setups. You can search for images using basic keywords, and if you need something more specific, you get built-in features that let you sort by category or even by color. Image previews are smooth and interactive, supporting pinch to zoom for a closer look. The app also uses smart caching and loading to keep performance quick and reliable. Swipe to refresh lets you update results easily while browsing, and the interface is fully responsive scaling perfectly whether you are on a tablet or a phone, and it avoids the usual pitfalls of clunky wrappers or slow design. With simple downloads, clean navigation, and no sign-ups required, you easily get some high-quality wallpapers for your project, plus it is also open source. I'm pretty sure you've heard of KiroMate and Kiro Shuffle. If you have, then Linkzari is an application created by the same developer. This is completely free and ad-free. It is a sleek, refreshing and easy-to-use link management application. Talk of modern app designs, this one makes the cut stripping away all the extra features most applications try to force in, simply saving and organizing links. You can quickly save anything from any application using the share function or copy and paste when you hit the plus button at the top. You can source links by name, date or pinned and of course it supports categories with color codes. You can pin links to the top, add tags when you tap to edit links, you can edit link titles and also add notes and it comes with search. Plus I love the fact that there is no account required but it supports importing and exporting of data so all your bookmarks are stored locally on your device. 
There is also one click to clear your data from the application and it comes in light and dark modes as well. If you've got a lot of subscriptions running and could use an application to help you keep track, check out Sublin. It is very clean and efficient. First off, it does not require account creation. It just gives you full visibility over your recurring expenses without adding complexity. You can add any type of subscription, whether streaming services, apps, memberships or software. You just enter the name, add cost, renewal date and other information. The app's interface is built for simplicity, making it easy to manage everything from the start. You can organize subscriptions into custom categories, assign color themes, including colorblind friendly options for better accessibility. Plus, it supports local backup and restore of subscriptions. And also, for you to get the application for free, the developer has been kind enough to provide 100 promo codes, which you can get when you join my Telegram channel, link in the video description. If you love using counter applications and appreciate a clean modding design, check out Counters. It is a simple yet powerful application that lets you create basic counters to track anything from habits to workouts and daily routines. You can set up as many counters as you need, each with the option to reset automatically on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. That means you don't have to manually reset them every time. You can also track tasks which you can mark as done and it will automatically reset to not done every day. Adding new stuff to track comes with color coding. The app is designed to be distraction free offering a clean interface that focuses purely on helping you track progress with full support for Material U. Moving on, we have a weather application called Overdraw. It's a pretty standout weather application that blends functionality and design in a way most weather applications don't. It transforms a basic daily task into a visually rich experience, starting with over 70 beautifully crafted widgets that actually feels like part of your setup. The app includes 12 unique animated themes that reacts to real-time conditions and the UI is fully customizable too. But beneath the polished visuals is a serious weather engine. The app offers hourly and seven-day forecasts, live radar, storm tracking, and full atmospheric data including wind, pressure, humidity, and dew points. It pulls from reliable sources like Open Weather Map, Weatherbit, and Forecar for high accuracy, plus a bunch more weather information. Just to mention, Overdrop has been around for a while, but the UI of years ago isn't the same today, so it definitely deserves a mention. Next, Taskfolio is a focused, simple and straightforward task manager that gets the basics right without piling on unnecessary features. So you add tasks like categories, and then you add your tasks under them with your schedules attached. The interface feels native and smooth and well thought out from the start. It works offline, meaning you can manage your task anytime, regardless of your connection and everything syncs automatically once you are back online. Speaking of which, it syncs directly with Google Tasks, so all your existing to-dos and lists integrates without extra steps or third-party accounts. The app itself is also a showcase of Android development done right. You will actually think it's a Google application at first glance. It is super lightweight, efficient, and open source. And so if you love Google Tasks, here is an open source alternative you can try out. And then we have an application called Echo which is a motivation app that brings codes based on your settings. So instead of sending generic codes from random sources, it lets you pick your motivators. It can be philosophers, athletes, artists, world leaders, and it builds your daily codes around their voice and mindset. So whether you are into resilience, discipline, or creativity, the app aligns with what inspires you the most. Each code feels intentionally selected, forming what the application calls your motivation channel. The interface stays clean and focused with no ads or distractions, just a simple, elegant way to start your day on the right notes. Plus, you can allow notifications. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed learning about these 10 amazing Android applications. Leave a comment and let me know which one of them you are going to try out. Also, leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.